legalize in the Philippines. Let's start in the government team, the Prime Minister, Ms. Mercy Aguilar. Good morning. I am Mercy Abel, the Prime Minister of the government side. This house believes that prostitution in the Philippines should be legalized. Let us first define what is prostitution. Prostitution is a word for a hired prostitute in which it is an act of having sex in exchange for money. Actually, prostitution happened because everywhere find poverty. By that, they find prostitution as their work. There is direct correlation between the economic opportunity in the amount of society and it is said to be as the world's oldest profession. The vast majority of the women do that. This is the reason why girls and their families turn to prostitution to enable the family to, to maintain a certain level of lifestyle. Prostitution should not be a crime. Next is the opposition leader, Ms. Jeline Maxumbo. So, good morning everyone. Um, I'm Jeline Maxumbo, the opposition leader of the opposition team. So, we believe that uh, prostitution should be should not be legalized in the Philippines. So the first result is the sake of the health. So why health? So having sex with different men or women can turn into AIDS. Um, and this AIDS can turn into 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 words which is HIV. So it is said that HIV ha until now has no cure. And the AIDS or the, the AIDS yes the the symptoms of it is come up after 10 years. So it is so then uh, it is really um, dangerous to our health. So next is the image of country. Image of our country. So why uh, no image of country because other country will think that Filipino men here are rude, that rude, that they're not respecting women. So on the other hand, they will think that women are big, that they can, uh, they're not respectable. So by that, their, um, their respect or the, their trust to us will be vanished. The, yeah. The next is our culture. So, for your information guys, so I'm just refreshing you that we are, we Filipino, 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 um, the boys are known as Magino. So they're respecting a uh, woman or anything, anyone, I mean. So, um, uh, on the other hand, we the Filipina, Filipina, known as the Dalagang Filipina. So, um, Dalagang Filipina is known as the conservative and honorable, worthy, um, respectable. So, by that, um, all will show be better. Um, next is the, so that, yeah, culture will be very affected. Next is God. So, for your information, Bible says, Magpuntunisa ng katawan na binigay sa'yo ng Diyos. So it is really our responsibility to take care of His creatures, to take care of the body that has given to us. So it's really... Okay. How do you say so that our economy will be affected in, the bad, in a bad way? Yeah, so as I've said, um, other country will think that we're, we're not um, trustable or trustworthy or we're not respons responsible in doing, uh, in doing decisions. So, their trust to us will be vanished, and together with that trust, with that trust is their um, investment to our country, um, the help or support during the during the calamities or everything. Or and lastly is that the opportunities that they're giving, they're going to give to us. Yeah. So by that, um, image of country will be very um, uh, image of, or the economy. Yes. The next is morality. So morality simply is moral lesson. Um, moral lesson and it will be our human rights. So human rights, when it is abuses, it becomes immorality. So um, immorality, it is um, against to God. So then, God. Next is the value of yourself. Knowing the value of yourself is um, knowing what. So love just simply says that Love or love and respect yourself because um, by by loving or respecting yourself, will by that you will know your value as a person. Yes. Next is um, people says that 
legalizing prostitution could make our country make money or buy their taxes or, or tourism. So is our government is um, desperate to make money to make money um, that they are going to legalize this prostitution, this kind of case, just to have money. And that is our government is an idiot to to um, make le make prostitution legalized just to have money. So lastly, is um, you have said that um, legalizing prostitution is victimless or crimeless. So um, for me or for our group, is legalizing prostitution is still has um, victim or crime because um, prostitution workers are victims. No, um, I'm just, what I'm trying to say is that prostitution workers are victims of poverty, not rape, because they're paid for that service. So prostitution workers are victims of poverty. So, but, um, you just want to legalize prostitution just to have money. So why, there's so much uh, ways to have money, like businesses or not jobs or businesses by your creativity and your knowledge. So by that, this house, uh, we believe that uh, prostitution should not be legalized. Thank you. Next is the Deputy Prime Minister, Ms. Mary Rose Arrest. regularly for HIV and other related diseases to protect them and, and causing of widespread diseases. This will not be hard to execute because what sex workers want is money, not diseases. For example, in Nevada, sex workers are required to get monthly blood tests for gonorrhea and chlamydia trachomatis. For, furthermore, the use of condom there is mandatory. The late Indian and Journalist Kashwan Singh that said that the more you try to put down prostitution, the higher will be the the higher will be the incidence of crime against innocent women. It means that many people trying to put down the prostitution, but if they always uh, try to put down prostitution, many women become a rape victims and also human trafficking. Technically speaking. Prostitution can have positive effects if it is legalized and pro properly implemented. When prostitution is legalized, the government will no longer have to spend costs hiring additional law officials to hunt down sex workers before enforcing laws against prostitution while caring, and caring for sex workers in jail. When prostitution is properly regulated, people who patronize this industry will feel safer and thus the demand for it will increase which can also be an added benefit to the economy. More tourists will then visit the country to pay for, for sex service which has significantly increased foreign exchange earnings. If prostitution will be legalized, Sex workers will be able to, to get access to the rights and services which they deserve. If a sex worker is raped or abused, she can complain to, to the police and even file no suit. Furthermore, she gets access to the basic education and health services just like anyone else. Everyone deserves to be protected by the law no matter what type of work does do. And that includes the sex workers. There's an obvious reason why prostitution is has been called the oldest profession. It's been around since almost the beginning of time and it will always be. Even if all the nations around the world will unite to abolish it, they will never succeed. No matter what we do, there will be always people who will pay money to get sex for pleasure. And that... And there will always women or even men who will offer their body for money. So rather than wasting, wasting time and money in regulating an effective solution, solution, an effective solution, the best thing to do is just...
just legalize it. If we can legalize other controversial things like gambling, alcohol, tobacco, why can't we do it for prostitution? If prostitution is legalized and regulation are put in place, workers will be safer from STIs and HIV AIDS. If prostitution is legalized, government can impose regulations such as compulsory use condoms, regularly blood testing to see if prostitution prostitutes have HIV. The general enforcement of safe sex practices when the government legalized prostitution is actively involved, involved in its operation through regulation. Philippines is one of the four countries in this country have less opportunities. That's why we legalize the prostitution. It will help to have jobs all the poor people. Educational background is one of them. So are you 100 percent sure that uh, prostitution workers there are has no job to apply? Yes, because I said I said earlier that Philippines is one of the poor country and in the Philippines to have less opportunities to apply the to to have a job to have job the prostitute prostitutes and the, the one the one of the problem of prostitute is the educational background that's why the prostitutes have, prostitutes have no apply the job. Philippines is one of the poor countries in this country have less opportunities. The educational background is one of the problem because they didn't finish their studies and they and they all need jobs. That's why prostitutes should be legalized. Prostitution helps to increase the income rates and employment rates of the Philippines. That's why prostitution should be, should be legalized. Thank you.
who under the regime legalization transform into third party. It also converts like it's a it's a it's so converts uh, sex sex club massage parlors and another and another sites of prostitution activities legitimate where where commercial sexual acts are allowed to to flourish to flourish with and few these things. How can you reduce crimes like rape and human trafficking? By by strong by strong security guard by strong security guard. This is I know, this is responsibility of our government. Legalization of prostitution is a like is a like is our like dignifying prepositionalizing the woman is prostitution but dignify prostitution as work does not <coughs> dignify the woman it simplifies dignifies the sex industry the people of things does not realize that this discrimin discrimination in the in dangerous job we fight the harmful conditions so people can work in safety. The, the dangerous cannot be removed in prostitution because the act of the act of prostitution is the heart by the act. We need to listen the the voice of women. In in the five years, in the five country survey, our nine percent said the wanted to escape prostitution immediately nearly 70% of prostitute women meet the criteria for a di diagnosis of post-traumatic stress disorder and and they constitute is the person of all completed suicide a Italy, Italy report on prostitution have a life morality rate of 40 times high, higher than the national average. The average life span for a woman after entering prostitution is 4 years, with 50% of the deaths due to mother. mother. In dangerous jobs, we normally fight to eliminate Harmful condition so people can work in safety and with respect. The danger cannot be removed in prostitution because the act of prostitution is the option in, in life that others have a decent job. Uh, safe housing, medic, uh, medical care, and psychology counseling. We need exit strategies that include drug treatment, education, training, house, training, house, housing, and other support. The answer is to demand equality distribution of resources. Thank you, Mother. This is the government member, Ms. Baby J. Saben. member of the government. We should legalize prostitution. Why? We can think of a lot of reasons that might prove how this criminalization could reduce sex-related crime. Once legalized sex workers would be empowered to approach the police if they are in danger or having a problem with their clients. Furthermore, sex workers would also be given an opportunity to conduct their business on their own without the control of an abusive team which reduces possibility of violence and abuse. And when prostitution is already legal, people who wish to satisfy their needs sexually urges would have their option readily available for them. Also, prostitution is a big taxation and just like in any other business, legalization of prostitution could lead to chain effect that significantly benefit the country primarily through tax. 
and how can the government protect the health of prostitutes if they can't protect the health of the children and and the other citizens here in the Philippines? Point mom, how are you going to lessen crimes like rapes and etc. if you did not agree legalizing prostitution that would help reduce it? I said earlier, um, prostitu prostitution is not the answer to lessen the crime because um, the because almost of the rapists is poor and they can afford the to have sex with the prostitute. So in the end, they will rape the innocent children. For it is a crimeless. It is not a crimeless, especially in rape. Because almost of the rapists is poor and they can't afford to have sex with the prostitute. So in the end, they will rape the innocent children. So how can you say that it is a crimeless? Fifth is, it will affect the image of the Filipinas because Filipinas are known as a conservative and it will lose the respect of the, for the women and the worse the image of the innocent women because of those images. Sixth is human trafficking. Um, I believe that we will never succeed in combating trafficking. In women, if we do not simultaneously work to abolish prostitution and the sexual exploitation of women and children, particularly in light of the fact that many women in prostitution in countries that have legalized prostitution are originally victims of trafficking in women. Yes, that means that more Filipinos will do everything for their family just to earn money. But do you think that prostitution is the best solution to have to her to have money? Of course no. And prostitution is an in institution is evil. It doesn't matter if it is the world's oldest profession, it is still wrong. And sometimes the rental owners take nearly all the earnings of those young girls that pay back. Money for payback money for the price paid to the parents. The owners charge the girls for the rooms they are locked into and for every unbeliever shot. This is not just a simple sex trade. There are pimps torturing, locking up, locking up helpless young girls who barely receive enough money to survive. Child prostitution and forced prostitution are open is comparable as children are easy to control and cheaper to run. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Next to the podium is the government. legalizing prostitution here in the Philippines would be the same reason that trade exists all over the world. Here are the reasons for legalizing prostitution. First, victimless crime. Prostitution is not empty. There is always a victim. Free choice. Free sex is legal. Acceptable morality. Less violence. Rapes and human trafficking, fewer diseases, lower unemployment, big business and taxation. Prostitution should be legalized because it can protect women for abuse and violence. It cannot be denied there are sex workers who get physically abused or become a victim of violence from their fields and even clients. Women prostitutes in countries or states wherein it, wherein it is likely 
illegal. Women prostitutes in countries or states where it is legally are less likely to report to the authorities when they get hurt. <laughs> On the other hand, legalizing prostitution can give women more rights and, they, and encourage them to seek help if a violation has been done to them. Prostitution should be legalized because it has a lot of benefits. First, it would allow local authorities to control and monitor sex workers for transmittable diseases. It would give the sex workers employment rights. Everyone who is legally employed has minimum rights and entitlements given by law, such as safety rights, safety rights minimum wage health benefits, vacation pay and protection against unlawful discrimination. Sex trade is here to stay by recognizing it as a legitimate form of war. All involved parties can guarantee benefits. It would effectively lessen the burden on the government in terms of executing money and paying additional law enforcement. 